Hello, my name is Erin. This tutorial shows how to add numbers to headings in Microsoft Word. The heading numbers can include labels such as article, section, and chapter. We'll also look at how to modify the numbers and labels attached to each heading level. Today I'll be using Word for Microsoft 365. These steps also apply to Word for Mac and the one-time purchase versions of the software back to Word 2013. Before we begin, it's important to note that this process is for headings created with Word's built-in heading styles or your customized versions of Word's built-in heading styles, which appear in the Styles group in the Home tab. You don't have to have every heading complete. However, the process works best if the Level 1 heading is already inserted. If you're new to working with headings or need a refresher, please see my previous tutorial titled How to Create and Customize Headings in Microsoft Word, which is linked below. To begin adding numbers to headings, first select the Heading 1 in your document. Then select the Home tab in the ribbon followed by the multi-level list button in the paragraph group. Next, select a style from the list library. Remember that you can modify these styles, so if you can't find a perfect option, choose the one that's closest to the format you want. You can hover over each option to see a larger example. Once you've made your selection, your heading should now feature the new multi-level list numbers. Now we're going to modify the heading numbers we just inserted. Word's multi-level list function, which we use to create the numbers, includes many advanced options. As such, this section is limited to the options I believe are the most useful for the majority of people. To begin, select the first numbered heading in your document. Then select the Home tab in the ribbon, and from there, select the Multi-Level List button, followed by Define New Multi-Level List from the drop-down menu. When the Define New Multi-Level List dialog box appears, select a level in the Click Level to Modify menu. Next, type the words, symbols, or punctuation before or after the number in the gray shading in the Enter Formatting for Number text box. Take extra caution not to delete or alter the number in the gray shading because the automatic numbering will stop functioning if that number is modified in any way. If you added words, symbols, or punctuation after the number, also add a space after the final character so that a space will appear before your heading text. You can also choose a new number style from the Number Style for this level menu if necessary. Select the Font button to change the font, style, size, color, and other appearance options. Since we're focusing on heading numbers today, I'm not going to make any appearance changes right now. Next, select the More button. When the dialog box expands, you can enter a different number in the Start At text box if you don't want the level to start with the current number. In the Follow Number With menu, select Space, Tab Character, or Nothing to determine what comes between the label and number and your heading text. For most users, Space will be the best option. Although the Tab Character is sometimes the default, it can put too much space between the number and label and the heading text. When you've completed your customizations, select the next heading level that you want to modify in the Click Level to Modify text box, and then repeat the steps we just went through until you've modified all necessary levels. When you're finished, select the OK button. Your heading number should now be modified. And as always, save your file to save your changes. I have created many other videos about Microsoft Word, including 
how to create a custom heading style in Microsoft Word for the PC, and how to create a custom heading style in Word for Mac. Please see the complete list in the playlist titled How to Use Microsoft Word and How to Use Word for Mac, which are linked in the description box below. All the steps we just performed are listed with images on ErinWriteWriting.com along with all my other writing-related software tutorials to help you succeed at work and in the classroom. Feel free to leave me a comment if there's a specific topic that you'd like me to talk about in the future. And please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss upcoming tutorials. And give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching.